All right, I'm here with the crazed Juno, and uh, he suggested that I play this game, and uh, we're gonna try a little something, something. Uh, hello, you know, would you like to oh. say something? <laughs> Me, you know, now you know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right, just getting straight into it. Can you see it? Yeah. Uh, you don't know what you signed up for. <laughs> I don't know what I signed up for. Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> this game is, as I said before, it's like, it's a classic in my mind. Like this game is so good. The story is so good. Hmm. Okay. You're selling me, Chief. Yeah. And the music's really good. It's just, oh. Oh, the in-game music is, is is lower now. Hold on, let me turn it up one because it's at a one. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my gosh! No way! <laughs> Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. Well, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? It's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click an object to interact with it. Uh, probably gonna be in the back. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Uh, right click to the menu. Oh. Doctor Neil Watts, technician specialist, Sigmund Corp. <clears throat> Doctor Ava, Ava oh. Rosaline, senior memory traversal agent from Sigma Corp. We work together. Okay. Yep. Can I write something? Oh, I was trying. I thought I had like a writing thing. I tried typing in hi. <laughs> uh, with a box is heavy. What's inside has got to be important. All right. Can I move? All right. Oh. Yeah. A smoking hot car. <laughs> smoking uh, nice. hot. Oh, you move. It's like RuneScape. Got it. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Okay, let's take the left side. To the left. Sign of the house points to the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist. <laughs> <laughs> there do be a sign there. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Okay, hold on. No, how does it close the door? <laughs> That's neat. <The> future... <laughs> That's like got nothing on that I shit. I mean, <laughs> it might make more sense here in a minute once you learn what's in the equipment box and what kind of technology they're working with. Okay, okay. It might make a little more sense, but... <laughs> all right, all right back, back to it, sorry. <clears throat> how thoughtful of you. Through the woods. A rock. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. <clears throat> uh, 
A branch will do. I now gotta find a branch. Damn it! <laughs> it's, it's on the path. I see it. Oh, it's Tree right branch. there. Wow. Okay. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> All right. This better work. What was that? <laughs> I. I don't even. Some kind of an air ball. Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. Uh, squirrel, hello, goodbye. Squirrels. Is there any like exploration or is it just very linear? Uh, I mean, there's, like, various exploration points that you can, like, go and look at and click on to interact with to get more. Just, like, different dialogue things. Ooh. Did I do that? Oh, no, I just did it on its own. Okay, it looked like it was panning up for, like, a scene. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa. I can't go. Oh, the ro I see, I see. It's literally blocked. I see, okay. Knock, knock. Mm -hmm. Ma! They're here! Not a bla not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. <laughs> it's probably gonna be another all nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves still sing lullabies. Will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. Uh... -huh. uh... I don't get paid enough for this. Act one! I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Huh, what? <laughs> what? It'll make sense. It'll make sense. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. What? Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. <clears throat> He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Yes. Okay, they're gone. 
Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Bear, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. They're so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> These kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. <clears throat> uh. Oh, okay. Did I do anything? Oh, okay. Um. Uh, he's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Can I move? I can still move. Okay. Go to the other side, maybe? Uh, excuse me. Uh, bed side. Okay, speak to the lady. Ready to set up? Yes. It'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. No oh, crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. What's he doing? Uh, not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can't grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The... Oh. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezer's just keeping on getting crazy. Er, well, blah, blah, blah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the geezer's just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy, for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm. So be it. Alright. Which one of us plays detective? Oh, I actually get to choose. Yep. Alright. If if you choose if I choose um, you already know it has to be me then. You already know how it works. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Eh, same thing. 
Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. I want to go down here first. I'm a detective. I'm going to go down here. Ooh. What's the bathroom? bathroom? Anything I can touch? Touch, touch, touch. Can I look at the... No? Okay. Oh. Oh. Lights. So I need a set of lights. You can't do press and hold, which is kind of weird. A selection of readings from medical journals. Oh, that's it? Okay, I thought it was going to give me a selection of readings from medical journals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what's got going on over here. Can I... Oh. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Whoops. Uh, leaf? No. Can I go further this way? No. Okay. Can I study him? Nope. Back there later. All right. Wait. Come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. <laughs> See, I should have talked to him. Talked to him. Now. Yeah. <laughs> here, take this. Receive remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Oh! Oh, dear lord. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. As soon as we, like, exit the other room to the stairs, we can hear it coming up the stairs, kind of. That's 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 a nice little detail. I like that. Well, there's only one hand on that clock. Do, 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 do. Maybe the hour and the time are the same. Could be, but the one would minute. be longer. <laughs> Mm. Maybe it's reversed. The small hand's behind the big one. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully Fair inconvenient. Enough. Yeah, but the other one's usually fatter, too. What you want? Uh, Show me around the house, please. Hey, your mom told me to show me around the house. Oh, okay, it does actually do the dialogue of the dialogue. Whoops. Okay, maybe we will. Just get a little sad. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. All right, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Sure. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I just tell your mother. The door is right next to the stairs. Now go! It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. Uh, I'm going to assume this is not it. That's definitely not it, Chief. Ooh. A sink. Why can't I touch a sink? <laughs> Maybe good to remember. Yeah. I can interact with the downstairs sink. Cool. Go in here. Probably over here. This isn't the kitchen. Listen, no. <laughs> ah! No, stop! No! Yes. Bro, why am I so dumb? Is this the kitchen? <laughs> ah! There's that candy cane. Bruh, am I too short? <laughs> Bruh. Grab a chair. 
She got someone taller for the occasion. Are you taller? No. Did you have been taller? Oh, okay. <laughs> Booyah! It's, it's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. What's it? Something else. <laughs> All right, kiddos. I was I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Why did everything go dark? Okay. <laughs> I was like, and they ate me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where do we start? I know. There's there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Oh, I read it in his voice. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Uh, what kind of <laughs> funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Uh... A few moments later. This one? Yeah. This one said to go outside last time. Oh my god. Last time I did it, it said to go outside. This is... It did not. <laughs> it did. It did. It did. It, did. it literally did. It said, do you want to go outside? And it, I was like, no, I don't want to go outside. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Uh, thickest book on the upper shelf. I'm just going to... The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Uh, read. And the colors. The colors of that beautiful fabric. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark... <clears throat> which had been heard by the bystanders was repeated over and over. Okay. Versus Good book. Clothes. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, or The Key God. to Avoiding Paper Cuts. <laughs> the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the great Wikipedia Origami as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is ap... ap, proc, ap I actually don't know that word. Apocryphal? Apocryphal? Apocryphal. Apocryphal. Sure, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the R silent. Um or at least Bra. wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. Bruh. <laughs> yeah. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Uh, jokes. Uh, oh, this one? Uh, ah, almost hit on the paint! Whoops. Is it there? Can I not do this one? I'm trying to do this one. This one. Oh, what the hell? Why is there a second one? Okay, whatever. Uh, the tale of a girl who... Sorry, Dusklight. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Uh, maybe next time. Hey, I got the room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. <laughs> That was the Twilight reference. For damn sure. For Just a bunch sure. of books in here. They have nothing I don't know about, though. Uh, sure. I'm used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. <laughs> Until one day, I threw one back, and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> Alright, now we, oh. we can open the funny room in the basement now. Sorry. <laughs> this is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Uh, sure. Hey, we have Why light. Not? This is locked. 
I'm assuming this is the funny door. Door is locked. Open door with room key. It's like a cave in here. That's a lot of bunnies. Oh, I can still move. Uh, rub it folded out of paper. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Ah! Uh... You called it! <laughs> <laughs> Receive toy platypus. A broken music box. Uh, sure. You see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing? The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You weren't supposed to go in there either. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around here, too. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Yay. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Oh, the lighthouse! Oh no! <laughs> My novelty beach ball! Someone broke it! Oh. It was stupid anyways. But... But it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had! Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, don't worry. Dr. Rosaline will buy you another. No! Don't do it! She will? Oh yeah, sure. Just ask her afterwards. We kind of need to get going now, though. <laughs> the kid's ball. Did I accidentally? I accidentally bleed into like a deeper voice for that kid. That kid is hitting puberty and reverting back every <laughs> single time. He's very confused. <laughs> it's smoking. Who's that tummy? That, oh, pff, tummy. <laughs> Who's that tummy that crashed the car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosaline. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Tss, tss, tss. I actually made the sound. I didn't do the sound. Bruh. Bruh. Can uh -oh. you tell I don't read? <laughs> Ooh, a squirrel. I'm gonna touch a squirrel. Poke. What the hell? <laughs> what? Don't worry, kids. I got this. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> a tsunami kick? A tornado punch? I'm gonna throw another shoe. <laughs> other shoe. Wow, <laughs> yelling volume. This ends here. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it! Or I'll tell Ma you animal abuse! <laughs> yeah! She called the cops on you! Aw, oh, come on. It wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role-playing? Please tell me that was just like an easter egg. You <clears throat> should be ashamed of yourself! Let's save a teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night's ruined. <laughs> Is that like an Easter egg drop? I mean, I guess they can be essentially counted as such. Oh, I can't remember if you get that option with like the Rosaline. So I think it was only Watts that can do that. Okay, I could be wrong. Gotcha.
Wait, what's that over there? Oh, wait, there's something over there. Oh, is it this thing? Okay. In memory of River E. Wilds. River Wilds, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right here! I'm so glad it did it for me. Oh mm -hmm. my god. This is it? Seems like this thing hasn't been functioning for quite a while now. A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh, yeah. Johnny must have come before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. Ah, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this... Oh, I guess I'm taking it. It's mine. <laughs> what the cactus were you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight. <laughs> okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. <laughs> Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on. We're going in. That was the couch. Oh, that's the couch? That. Couch. Ready or not, here it goes. In we go. I don't even know where we're going. Like game wise, there's no context as to what we're doing. We're just doing it. <laughs> Whoa, what the... It should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. I'm assuming that's his memories. Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, so we're... In his memories. Yeah. Aww. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline, and this is... Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the Agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Oh, oh my god. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. 
Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, just a program, you know? I know, but this is the last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst. We could just reboot it. Why would you waste your time like that? You. You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. In order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. It's the same thing, isn't it? Oh, what the heck? We need to prepare this memento first. Prepare. Click the orbs of the pieces. Okay. <laughs> the memento can now be activated for a traversal. Uh... Oh, it's standing there. Okay. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Damn. So we're hopping through the memories to convince him to be an astronaut himself so that he can go to the moon. Yes. Gotcha. But that won't affect the future? No. What we're essentially doing is changing his memory so he Thinks believed he went, moon. he went to the moon. Gotcha. He felt that he went to the moon. But reality, he never did. But to gotcha. him, it is dying. As he's dying, that's what he did. Gotcha. Okay. Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy?
Jeez, I forgot to ask him about, about all these rabbits. This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? It's impossible. It's probably just part of his memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. In my catholic objects, there was five memory links. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh, the clock was one of them? Okay. <laughs> the, platy the platypus is there. A multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, well, yes, I agree. Oh, what the? An old and patched up backpack. What is this, a million years old? I guess we'll find out. Don't. If we have to explain her presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Okay, that's what I was going to say, too. I was wondering how that was going to work. Don't tempt me. Mm. Fresh wildflowers. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Eh, I hate the stuff. What's the hate? It's pickled olive! Exactly. Hey, I like pickled olives. <laughs> They're pretty good. I like the ones with like the little jalapenos in the middle. Yeah. A selection of readings from medical journals. Oh, it's the same thing. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Umbrella. Now travel with Memento Umbrella. I have to hit them, I see. Hadouken! <laughs> what the- <clears throat> was that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. <laughs> Oh, there's an ideal. I see. Oh, crap. If it hits them <laughs> twice, it'll do. Okay. Azuz. Do I mess up if I go too far up? <laughs> like, into too many times? Because it says ideal. Like, the amount of tries. I don't know. It's just like. It's how many moves it takes to, like, solve it, ideally. Gotcha. There's oh, no we don't jump a whole on. ass thing. We do very small hops. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to rain, tro, what? Through, what? Through, oh, through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. Hey, look, it's what I said. <laughs> We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. Eh, just enjoy the scenery. What scenery? We're really fucking high up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three bars of memory links? Okay. Yeah, hey there, hey there boss. Oh, this is like a very small one. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. 
world's not big enough for you to uh, buy that. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> it's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stayed true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you, too. But when I'm gone... Who's gonna watch over us? I was gonna say, he's talking about the platypus? Oh no. <clears throat> Who are you? My name is Ava. I was just passing by. <clears throat> was she your wife? Yes. Her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Mm hmm. She... She didn't need to do it. But she... Eh, you wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. That's gotta be creepy, just watching at home, you just stand right there and just... Poof! <laughs> Receive the note for Anya. Ooh. Greeting time. Someone John and River cared for. It's the platypus. The platypus is Anya. About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge. Dinosauric. This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Uh. Wait, I still need... Yeah, what the hell? Well, there's one. Oh. Oh, so if I mess up, it resets? Uh, what's it? Seven. Uh, I messed up. No, I didn't. Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No. I'm sure we can just... Stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I 
calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this, this is just too much. I mean, she, she isn't even... You know what makes me happy, Johnny. What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money, it's up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her. Speak to her. Comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes? I made this. <gasps> Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit. Like all the others you made. <gasps> she makes them! What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. It's wearing a raincoat! Good. What else? Oh, look, River. Oof. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called... Four River. <laughs> Why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. Who's this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in this late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? Mm. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. 
Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? MP8? <laughs> I think I brought... <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that threw me off. <laughs> I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. 2,000 songs as memories? That's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> Paper Rabbit. Uh, how's he doing, by the way? Seems like he's okay still. Yeah. What, what river keeps the charm? It's wearing a raincoat! I'm convinced it's wearing a raincoat. <laughs> Mixto! Mixto! Pickle olives! Someone, Someone really oh. likes these. Yeah, I was gonna say that's you. I'm telling you, there's just no way! What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, but this is the least I can do. I feel like I nailed Nicholas. Wait, that was pretty good. <laughs> it's bugging. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. Um. Oh. Cool. What's that? Oh, that's the stairs. That's the stairs. Such a weird icon. It looks like a like a side sideways hourglass. Right. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like pinched arrows is what it looks like it's supposed to be. The Emperor's New Clothes. Again? I really like this book. They really do. Or moves. So close. What happens if I don't get it right? Do I like miss something? No, you just keep going until you get it. Yeah, but what? And then like, it tracks what, your what you... overall. Oh, nothing. okay. Just... All right. Just like a mini game. Yeah. Okay. So make sure I'm not missing out on the story because I missed the puzzle. No. Cool. It just tracks like how many times like it took you to like try to get it right. Finally. Oh my god, she's got hops. Is that a hammer? <laughs> Look what we have here. It's a hammer. Oh, oh I, see, I, I see it. It's the house. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'm it saying I see the, the hammer. No, I, I couldn't. I couldn't see. Like I was looking at it as 2D, not 3D, and I could. I could see it now. It took me a second right. to realize it wasn't just like the rooftop. Right. Uh, I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough to put without people living on it. Oh. <laughs> uh. It looks really sad. Or burnt out. River? Oh. Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but. 
you don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when your neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm gonna let her- I'm not- I'm not gonna let her die. It's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm gonna pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. Or at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Pickled! Pickled olives! Oh, that's the memento. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get to them pickled olives. Car? Car? Oh my god, goodbye car! <laughs> Zoom! He's scanning. I do be. Oh, I guess the house was enough, but maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Well, let me take it aside. Rope. Oh, all right. So is that is that the whole purpose? Is that like a visual choice by the creators um, on the outside that it looks like all fragmented? Because all we can see is like, I guess the earliest bit of his memory in the memory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because now we represent. can see the. Okay, I got you. Yeah, it represents his can I not memory go from that moment. What am I supposed to? Oh, the memento. I'm, I have all of them. Whoops. Memento pickled olives. Pickled olives. We love pickled. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Pickled. Oh my God. Olives. What's that? What's that? Two, three, four, five. Prepare. Oh no, there's more. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ideal. Pickled olives. 